I'm gonna demonstrate how to play the maracas. I've got a maraca right here in my right hand. Now, the maracas are actually kind of a deceivingly difficult instrument to play. It doesn't take much to create a sound out of the maracas, but to actually play in time, because you've gotta get the beads to roll back and you want them to hit the front of the maraca right on the beat. Now, there's not really a distinct um, transient sound, like where you can't hear the exact attack. It's somewhere in the vicinity of right there. Um, so experiment with the maracas and see if you can practice playing straight time. Quicker tempos, you're gonna find that because of the rattling around of, of the beads or the seeds or whatever's in your maracas, um, you're going to get a lot of extra kind of ambient noise out of the maracas in addition to the beat that you're actually playing. And the technique that I'm using is just the same technique I would use if I were bringing a drumstick down on a drum head, but in the air. It's almost like you're playing air drums. There's the idea. And the maracas are also going to um, kind of dictate the feel of a song, whether it's straight or whether it's swung, all of those extra rattles, all that extra rolling around inside of the maracas uh, is going to kind of give you uh, some other textures uh, to the music. In addition to, you know, if you were playing metronome time, you're still going to get a whole bunch of extra sound out of it. You could hear a lot of stuff going on in what I was playing, but I was concentrating mostly on keeping a fluid motion, but playing those basic accents, those air drum hits. There's your basic maraca technique.